morning. Back to Thailand again. We've got good weather in the forecast. We have a slight chance of rain tomorrow, but not enough to, to rain us out. So, you know, we might mess around and actually get something done. We've got a little bit of help today. We've got uh, my brother, his nephew is going to help us, uh, Ethan. So we've got a young back. That, that is good for us old folks. And then we even have a special guest coming out today. I don't know if he'll be in the day's video or tomorrow. Depends on what time he gets. We've got a long drive. And no, it's not the master pipe layer. I tried to get him to bring his tile plow and he said it would take too long. First thing we are doing today is loading up our boots. So the tile plow had the four inch boot. So the boot is what the tile, uh, the boot basically shapes the trench so the tile can sit in it and also feeds the tile into the trench. Well. At some point they were going to be using the six inch boot and we need to get it on the trailer. So that's what we got to do now. We've also got another load of Kim coming from our sponsor, Ag Kim Solutions. They brought some of the Kim a couple days ago and should be getting the rest of it today. So if you guys are needing chemical, he does still have pretty good supplies. Check them out. If you are a first time customer and you're needing chemical and you use uh, our name you get a, a discount so the link and all the details are in the description so check that out if you need some chemical BJ, I couldn't help but notice you got rid of your boots real quick. Yeah, buddy. They fit him better. <laughs> so right now, I'm more or less just playing in the mini excavator. I was kind of curious if that little blade would help close that trench in. It will. And you could definitely help quite a bit, but I'm not going to wear Ben's excavator out uh, doing this. Just kind of killing some time. Dad went after a couple things we forgot at the house, and then we'll get to digging. BJ's giving Ethan a quick lesson on the stringer cart. As odd as it may sound, the stringer cart is one of the least uh, skilled jobs on the, on the site, really. The guy in the hole, there's a lot of stuff that you can screw up in the hole. Uh, like if you don't make your connections right or you don't get that trench level, well, your pipe's useless. And the guy running the plow, I mean, he's got to know what he's doing. And the guy running the excavator's got to be skilled. So Ethan's going to start off in the stringer cart. As the day progresses, I'll kind of show him what we're doing down in the hole as far as making the connections to the pipe and all that good stuff. See how it goes. But him running that stringer cart, that'll keep Dad in this excavator. And, well, that'll keep everything moving all the better. Dad'll be able to dig more often, and we'll be able to get more start holes ready. Dad and I, and they'll be able to get more pipe in the ground, hopefully. This tractor was just a touch low on oil. So we are uh, pulling her out. We gotta turn the steering wheel a certain way. Get some oil in it. First thing we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna dig our first start hole. I don't, know if, I don't know if BJ's gonna mark them. Normally he would go out and mark where the main is, but since we've already ran lines on one side of it, I don't think we need to do that. And it's supposed to be 75 today, but 40 mile an hour wind gusts is what my brother said. So that's uh, nice and warm. I don't like the wind. Froze yesterday. I'm gonna freeze or gonna sweat today. Got a wind burn yesterday. I'll probably get a sunburn today. So Ethan, he just got his first lesson stringing the pipe. He never drove a tractor till today, so we're kind of throwing him into the fire. But like I say, that's the easiest job to master right now with the least amount of consequences. And what I mean by that is, if we throw Ethan in the hole and start telling him to make connections, I mean, yeah, you're just moving dirt, but if you don't get this trench leveled or the tap T inserted all the way, eh, it's never gonna flow water like it should. Uh, you'll eventually have a tile hole right there. So that's why, Ethan's running the towel cart. So while they're doing that, I'm gonna go over and help dad dig this other start hole. We're hoping we can keep the excavator moving and the tile pile moving at the same time. Instead of digging for a little while, 
plowing for a little while, digging for a little while. It should speed us up a good bit. Especially today, we have a lot of short runs. So if we can bust through the start holes quick, that'll that'll be that'll be great. So dad went to unload the chemical uh, chemical shipment. He was he was moving right along with that mini. Uh, that bucket on that mini is real nice. We're not tearing up the lateral or the main. He's able to find it with that smooth bucket and really not even touch it. So that's, that's been great. Anyways, he's doing that. When he gets back, we're probably gonna go down to the local donut shop and get us a hot dog for lunch. We're making really good timing. It's I'm, I'm actually thoroughly surprised. I mean, it's not even noon and we're, we've done six start holes already and we've got three more dug. So we're, we're just about done over here on, on this, these short runs. All right, so it is it's lunchtime, but not a, not a bad start to the day. I'm, I'm not mad. There's an Amishman on a man lift with a chainsaw. This is That's interesting. You guys at home doing it, Sean. At least they're cleaning up the place. Yep. Burnout house. Burnout house. Burnout house. Now that we're back from lunch, we're going to finish these couple runs here and then we got to switch out the boot and put in a new main. Fun times. Last start hole on this uh, this set of laterals. The wind has picked up considerably. Uh, we're getting some pretty good gusts now, but anyways, just ran out of pipe on this last roll. Got a splice down here, so I'm gonna stay down here and make sure that feeds into the into the plow without splitting. And yeah, get this last couple of runs in here. We probably should have just pulled the four inch roll we had. We probably shouldn't have put that four inch roll on. We probably should have just went ahead and switched the boot over to the six because we're running 2,000 feet of six inch and then immediately switching it back to four. We should have done these laterals later this evening. That would have been the smart way to do it, but we didn't do it that way. So just a refresher, when I say laterals, those are the pipes going into the main. The main is the main line that's draining all the water to the waters, to the stream or to whatever you're draining your, your field into. Here's our splice. Uh, it's got a coupler connecting it and then it's been taped. It should hold together just fine, but still want to be here as it goes into the into the plow so this ground it has always looked pretty uh pretty level like been farming this since i was a kid and i've, I've never really thought this is a, a farm with a lot of elevation change but i don't know if you can pick it up on camera definitely slopes into about where the backhoe is that's kind of where everything on this 40 acres here slopes to and in this back 40 acres it changes directions multiple times you really it's so usually a lot more elevation change on ground around here anyways than than the, than the than you realize. So there's our splice. Make sure this thing uh, stays together. And there she goes. 
So when he gets up here to the end of the pipe, you'll be able to hear that little door down there close whenever he hits it. Or whenever he runs out of pipe and that door shuts, you'll hear it here in about four or five seconds. Maybe not. I didn't hear it. Thought I'd be able to hear it. So BJ clipped the main. Didn't put a hole in it, but that could be an issue later. If this was in the middle of the line, I'd be really concerned, but there's only two more laterals past this one. Uh, uh, that might be an issue later. Hopefully not. Dad can't handle it. These trenches bother him. He's got to close them up. As long as he don't get that bulldozer and scrape that dirt away. He's done that before. Now we've got holes. That dirt's got to settle, It'll probably take a couple years. So we had a slight technical difficulty and our, uh, our RTK kicked off. So our RTK is what is guiding this plow. And I don't mean steering guiding, I mean the up and down guiding. It's controlling the plow, when to pitch down, when to pitch up, all that good stuff. So when it kicked off, we lost our depth. And BJ said at one point the plow almost came out of the ground. So we're going through here and trying to see how deep it is. This pipe probably isn't going to drain much. I mean, it's probably good at the hole, the start hole, and that's probably it. We're more or less just seeing if we're going to hit it with a like, strip till bar or anything. Looks like we're good. This, this run was only 70 feet. So we're not going to redo it. Um, it's the last run on this, this end. So it's just, <laughs> this is what it is. Thank God it wasn't on a 2,000 foot lateral. So when we lost RTK, as it turns out, we found this out directly after, uh, after that debacle. We lost RTK because the satellite receiver for the tile plow came unhooked. Now we got it. Good to know. Let's fix that with a little bit of 200 mile an hour tile tape. So we had a full crew and a young back, but now we're down to just me and BJ. But we're getting ready to switch the boots out, but first we're going to pre-rip this main with the four. They'll probably pre-rip it with the six, and then we'll put the boot in, or the main in. So there's about to be a few very long laterals, I and mean, we're going all the way to that red barn. So that is like, oh, like 2,000 feet. And before this, our longest lateral had been 500, so the footage is going to go up a lot. All right, we went over and got some stuff we forgot at the house this morning. Had to pick up Dax. Dax, here's your shovel, dude. Get to work. What are you doing? We're right. Let me show you how this works, Dax. Let me see this For baseball practice, you need to dig a trench from here to here, that deep and that wide. So you can do that? Yeah. See all this dirt? You need to get it off of there. There you go. Put that back in it, boy. There you go. Keep going. That a boy. So we're getting ready to change the boot out. Hopefully we can get this boot changed out and pull our new main in. And that's probably going to be it for this. It's about 5 o'clock now. That's going to it's going to take a lot of time. The main's going to go pretty slow, but right now we're trying to remember what all bolts have to come out of this thing because we haven't, we haven't swapped one of these in over a year. All right, so this is the 6-inch uh, feed tube or boot, whatever you want to call it. We gotta put these on here. Are these are no, those are the old ones. We gotta put these on here. The bottom of these side pieces, you see, they're kind of flared in a way to make a like a cradle for that pipe to sit in. So these ones are for six inch pipes, so we need to get that in there. Do one of these go on first or they matter? Don't matter. Close. 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 Yeah. So we're changing plans here. We were going to um, basically put this main in tonight that way we could do laterals tomorrow but I think what we're gonna do we got a, we got a couple extra hands coming tomorrow and we're probably gonna have to help pull that with another tractor so I think we're gonna go get the big excavator we got a ditch to clean out down here that this new mains going into we got a tree right there we're gonna have to tear out I think dad's gonna get the big excavator me and BJ are gonna mark the where we, we're gonna put in three mains tomorrow this is kind of the plan basically everything that that six inch boots gonna have to do while we got it installed on the plow, we're gonna do all the six mains. So we got some excavating to do. So Dad's gonna get the big excavator. That's that's what I'm trying to tell you. So I thought we were gonna put it in a lot of pipe today, but uh, 
Uh, at least we got these short start. At least we got these short runs done. Once we get those mains in, that'll be that'll uh, that'll be nice. Also, hopefully we have enough pipe to get that in because we did not order enough pipe this year for this entire job because we never thought. Well, for one, we thought it was just going to be a three-man show, not a six-man show. And we never thought we'd get, really, what we ordered installed. But really, we could probably use a little bit more pipe and still get it in the ground. So we are driving the Mini up to the building up here. We're done with it for the day. And then I've got one last hole to cover up. DJ's pre-ripping the, the big line that we're going to put in, the 2,000-footer. And like I said, Dad's going up to the escalator. That was rewarding. So just for the record, that was not ours. It wasn't like we were using that today. That came with this farm when we bought it, so it's been here for a couple decades. A little gross, but don't worry. It'll never bother anyone again. Yeah, buddy. Dig, baby, dig. Little bit of slippage. Little bit of slippage. So this main is going down like 45 inches or something like that. So he is pre-ripping it again. He pre-ripped it with a four inch. He's pre-ripping it with a six. Uh, I'd say we're still gonna have to hook the pull tractor to it, but hopefully we don't have to put a bigger tractor on it. Hopefully the little 8400, it'll pull out just fine is our, is our goal. That has been pre-ripped a couple times. When he pre-rips, he's not going to depth. He's not going as deep as that main's gonna be. He's probably, Pre-ripping at 30 inches would be my guess, 35 inches maybe. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll work for us. So we're gonna mark a few places for dad to dig in the morning. Like this main that we're gonna put in here is a pretty short main, it's only 550 feet. Doesn't have a lot of water drain to it, but we need to dig out a little bit. It's basically just drain into this ravine. Huh? Treasure. Treasure? Treasure? Apparently this old homestead, this was their, their junk pit. We got glass, some metal, that's our, that's, that's our retirement. Yeah, call the pickers. Yeah. So dad is gonna have to come in here and dig some of this out. There's a ravine right here, but it's a little flat, a few broken trees, but that won't make no time. Look at that. You yeah. nailed it. But it won't take him no time with the big excavator. I about said the big hoe. <laughs> and uh, right there. then this will be where this one lets out. So this line here, we've got kind of a goofy shape to it, just following the contours of this ground. Basically, this main here is gonna drain straight up across and over. From here down is a very long lateral, like a, I don't know, about an 1800 foot lateral, which will be fun to do. But this one has a lot of jogs and a lot of turns. And to be honest, I don't know if we can make those turns while we're you know, four feet in the ground with that plow. So, I don't know, tomorrow will be interesting. So with the big excavator, yeah, where it's definitely going to be needed to clean out these ditches, that'll that'll help quite a bit. All right, you going after Daisy May now? Yeah. The D8. Yeah. So this is a 35-ton low boy, and that dozer weighs 100,000 pounds. Yeah, that's uh, ground down. Ground down. Hundred and uh, uh, thirty-five tons, hundred and. Uh, hundred and ten thousand pounds. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. we're definitely going to need some air tires. A lot of people have asked if we're going to use the D8 for tiling or why we're not using the D8 for tiling. Well, the D8 does not have GPS. It doesn't have a lot of things. It doesn't have three point arms mainly. That's the main reason. We could definitely use it to pull the tractor with if we needed to. I mean, it, it would definitely pull it. No problem whatsoever. It'd probably be great for that, but we don't have a way of getting it here at the moment. So we ain't using it. If we need stuff, we'll drive it here because it's only a couple miles through the woods. But um, we're gonna have to tear up a couple yards and make a few apologies. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. Uh, we're, we're pretty pretty set up for tomorrow. Get everything put up. Wind is picking up. We're getting some pretty gusty stuff, but there's a slight chance of rain tomorrow. I don't think we're gonna catch enough to matter. Uh, we might be a little damp in the morning, but I think we're still going to be tiling. So, uh, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next one. Like I said, we've got a couple guests coming tomorrow, and it's going to speed up the whole process.